Hi there, John McAdams here with you again. In this video, I share the results of a recent ballistic gel test for the 22 ARC. Now specifically, I tested out all three factory loads currently available as of September 2024 for the cartridge. I have the 62 grain ELD VT loading from the Hornady V match line, the 75 grain ELD match from the black line, and the 88 grain ELD match from the match line. Now of those three loads, Hornady only markets the 62 grain ELD VT bullet for hunting, and they recommend it specifically for hunting varmints, not big game. Now, even though the two ELD match bullets are designed and marketed for target shooting, I was still curious how they would perform in gel, which is why I shot them too. Now, I shot this test using my Odin Works 22 arc upper receiver with an 18 inch barrel. And I used my Banish 46 suppressor and I measured all velocities with my Garmin chronograph like usual. So let's get shooting and we will start with the 62 grain ELD VT bullet. Okay, let's take a look, see how the 62 grain ELD VT bullet performed. Very short neck, very impressive wound cavity. Rapid, gigantic expansion, just two and a half inches into the gel block. That wound cavity extends to about the eight inch mark thereabouts. Uh, lots of lead fragments coming off that bullet. Bullet does deviate a little bit, but still makes it to about the 11 and a half inch mark in the gel. So not very deep penetration, but very wide wound cavity, just like you'd expect. I will pull the remaining big chunk of that bullet out and measure it. But first, we're going to take a look at the gel blocks for the 75 and 88 grain bullets. Okay, here's the 75 grain ELD match bullet. Nice short neck, nice wide wound cavity, very impressive, peaking around the three inch mark there bounce in the gel. That wound cavity extends to about the eight to nine inch mark. Lots of fragments coming off that bullet, not quite to the extent we saw with the 62 grain bullet, but pretty impressive. Reasonably straight line penetration to the 12 to 13 inch mark. I will pull this bullet out, get you all the details of it. First, let's take a look at the 88 grain gel block. Okay, let's see how the 88 grain ELD match bullet performed. Neck pretty short, but not a super wide wound cavity. Easily the most narrow wound cavity out of all the 22 arc loads I've tested. Looks like it peaks around the three to three and a half inch mark and extends to around the eight and a half to nine inch mark. We have lots of fragments coming off the bullet, reasonably straight line penetration, and then the bullet stops right there just past 19 inches into the second gel block. I'll pull that bullet out. See what we got. Okay, I pulled what's left of those bullets out of the gel blocks. As you can see, there's not that much left of them, but there's still actually a little bit more than I would have thought, especially this ELD VT bullet. This is the end result of lots of fragmentation like we got with these bullets, but especially for the really fast, lightweight varmint bullet in the ELD VT. And we basically just have the rear shank left for all three projectiles. As you might expect, the high velocity 62 grain ELD VT had the lowest weight retention. The slightly slower but still pretty fast 75 grain ELD match had a little more but still less than 50% weight retention. And the slower 88 grain ELD match had even more weight retention but still barely more than 50%. 
Now we got lots of expansion here too. The 62 grain and 75 grain bullets are almost completely flat and the slower 88 grain bullet looks more like a conventional expanded bullet. But this isn't really surprising though. The 62 grain EL DVT is a varmint bullet and the others are match projectiles optimized for accuracy instead of for terminal performance. Let's take another look at the gel. Now the 62 grain load appears to perform just like as advertised and also just like you might expect from a varmint bullet. We get massive expansion, lots of fragmentation, but pretty shallow penetration. This is one of the widest wound tracks I have ever observed in gel. It's also got an impressively long wound cavity too with lots of fragmentation. Now, this is not necessarily unusual for a varmint bullet. You compare it to something like a Hornady VMAX bullet. The ELD VT bullet here is a little bit wider and a little bit longer than what I've seen from VMAX bullets, say from the 223 and 22250. Those are also pretty wide, not quite as wide as this one, and the wound track itself doesn't extend quite as far as this bullet does for the 22 arc. Now that wider and longer nature of this wound track that we see right here can potentially pay some dividends with less than ideal shot placement on something like a coyote, which is what it is designed for. The same is also true, say, if you get a shot on an animal facing directly away from the shooter uh, or a really steeply quartering shot. And so that deeper overall penetration and the longer wound cavity of this 62 grain ELD VT once again, we're comparing this to other varmint bullets, not big game bullets, is more likely to cause devastating damage to the vitals of that animal where you need a little bit more penetration and thus kill it faster. On the downside, I can just certainly see this 22 arc, especially with this ELD VT bullet being rough on fur. If your goal is to quickly and cleanly kill a predator or a varmint and minimize wounding loss, then this is the round for you. This is a great bullet for that. But I would be cautious about using this cartridge and this bullet if you're trying to sell the furs of those animals afterwards. Furthermore, I personally would not use this bullet on a bigger animal like a deer because it just doesn't penetrate that well. I'm sure it would be deadly on game like that if it made it into the vitals though. But this is a varmint projectile. It looks like it would be great in that role. Now let's talk about the other bullets. The 75 grain ELD match actually performed better than I thought it would have and it gave us a, a pretty wide wound track combined with a little bit deeper penetration than the 62 grain ELD VT. That's still not great penetration, but to be fair, this bullet has a very thin jacket and is not designed or marketed for hunting at all. Not for hunting big game, not for hunting varmints. That's not to say it wouldn't work, I just personally would advise using it with caution for any sort of hunting. I think the 62 grain ELD VT is better for use on varmints with that wider wound track and that extra penetration is less important on smaller animals like that. That said, of everything that is available at this instant as a factory load for the 22 arc, and remember I'm recording this late September 2024, I personally would use this 75 grain bullet on a deer if you made me pick just one of these loads. But that said, I would personally prefer a hand load with the 80 grain ELDX or just a completely different cartridge for something like deer or hog hunting. Finally, the 88 grain ELD match had the deepest penetration, but not a very impressive wound track. But that does make sense. This is a heavier bullet with a lower velocity impact you're going to get less expansion, a more narrow wound track, but usually deeper penetration when that happens. And that's what we observed here. I personally would advise just use this ammo at the range and not hunting with it. And that is what Hornady markets it for anyway, for use at the range. All in all, I think the 62 grain ELD VT bullet is an outstanding varmint hunting load for the 22 arc. I was very impressed with how it performed in gel, and it shot great in my rifle too, but the same was also true for the other two loads, the 75 and the 88 grain loads. So to recap, I observed pretty shallow penetration overall, but penetration increased with bullet weight. 
The same was true with weight retention. The heavier bullets not only had more retained weight at the end, but they also retained a larger percentage of their original weight. This is due to a combination of different bullet construction for the ELD match versus the ELD VT bullet and a slower impact velocity for the two heavier bullets. I got very impressive wound cavities for the 62 and 75 grain loads, but not as impressive for the 88 grain load. And my observed velocity was about 100 to 150 feet per second slower than advertised, probably due to using a rifle barrel six inches shorter than what the ammo is spec at. Just like every company does with almost every cartridge, Hornady specs their ammo velocities for this 22 arc with a 24 inch barrel. Even so, this stuff was still going pretty darn fast, and especially that 62 grain load. Let me know your thoughts on this subject. Have you used any of this 22 arc ammo afield? How did it perform for you? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the cartridge and any of this ammo. Likewise, leave a comment on this video and let me know the cartridge bullet combination you would like me to use in the next gel test I published on YouTube. So far, I have published a bunch of other gel tests. They're all on a YouTube playlist for you to peruse. I'd love to hear your suggestions on what else you'd like to see from me in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, and if you want more content along these lines, visit huntingguns101.com, sign up there for a free ebook on the best hunting calibers. I also cover this stuff in even more detail in my premium Hunting Guns 101 training. Link is also in the video description. That training also contains a thorough overview of external and terminal ballistics, so you will learn how bullets actually kill animals, as well as some specific examples of rifles and scopes ideally suited to a variety of hunting situations. You'll also discover the various factors that affect bullet penetration and expansion, and you'll learn a couple different methods of choosing the ideal cartridge bullet combination for a hunt that will deliver ideal terminal performance on whatever game you are hunting. Subscribers to my premium Hunting Guns 101 training will also receive access to my extensive and growing library of ballistic gel test results, most of which are not on YouTube. That library has gel test results for multiple different popular hunting loads for cartridges like the 223 Remington, 65 Grendel, 65 Creedmoor, 65 PRC, 270 Winchester, 7mm Rim Mag, 7mm PRC, 300 Blackout, 308 Winchester, 30 on 6 Springfield, and 300 Win Mag, among others. Once again, this list is always growing. I have also done ballistic gel tests with actual deer and elk shoulder blades embedded in the gel to give you an idea of how impacting bone affects the performance of different bullets as well. And those gel test results demonstrate the wide spectrum of results you can expect from different cartridges and bullets that you can use to tailor your hunting load to the specific situation. Once again, more details on all of that are available at the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and good hunting.